everyone! Welcome back to the Enchanted Forest, although today we're in the city with my very good friend Arya. Oh. So we've noticed that we sort of have opposite styles. I really like to dress like a fairy and Arya likes to dress like a badass. And so we've decided to recreate looks that we've done on our Instagrams on each other today. So I'm recreating on Arya this look today. <sighs> <laughs> it's so not me. That's the only reason I groaned. I love it, but it's like looking at you, I'm like, oh, that's me because I've also done that look. So seeing her on my face is just funny to me. So anyway. we're going to do this recreation. And if you want to see how we did it, then keep watching. See you in a minute. Hey, everybody. So this is my friend Aria. Hello. Who are you? Introduce yourself to the people. Um, well, as Sarah did give a little teaser, my name is Aria. I have a YouTube channel here on the YouTubes, as well as an Instagram account on the Instagrams. I do makeup. You can see the look that I just created here on Sarah. If you want to go check out the full video, it's over on my YouTube channel. But I really like makeup. I studied acting, so I do some acting here and there. Um, in my channel, I tend to upload a bunch of like different things fashion related. I do, um, even though we have very different fashion styles, you know, I still take inspiration from you because I don't know. I talk about how like unique you are and how committed to understanding your own, what makes you happy. And I, I, I get inspired from that, so. So you do a lot of adventurous eye looks on your channel. <laughs> when did you start playing with makeup? In quarantine, really, it's when I had the time. You know, I like sat down for, um, towards the beginning of quarantine, I would like sit down for like three or four hours a day and that would just be, that would just be the mood. So it's that recent for you? Honestly, yeah, I can't lie. I mean, I would, I, uh, <laughs> I would do some kind of color like before when I would be going out like on the town or something back when that was a thing, but it was never really like graphic liner, rhinestones or color to the extreme as I've been dabbling in recently. So what were, how have your plans changed since quarantine started? I feel like that's something people aren't really talking about that much because we don't want to like face the reality, but I think it's really important that we talk about how we're adapting. Oh, 100%, really, yeah. I mean, like, I've been living with my family now, and I saw this CNN headline that, uh, like, 52% of young people are now living with their parents, and I'm like, yep, makes sense. 50, that's a huge percentage. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and I just, like, didn't have a job lined up anywhere because I was you know, planning on moving to California and then doing the job search there once I got the lay of the land, but... I think it's more important right now to stay at home and protect those I love. Mm. Assuming I still have a heart, not be yeah. beaten out of my chest. I love the way that your brow bone is is so much lower than your than your eyebrows themselves. Oh, you think so? <laughs> uh, it's so, oh my god, it gives you so much room for activities. It's beautiful. <laughs> thank you. you turn your face completely. Towards yes. Me. Okay. Thank Whatever you, you want, darling. That's so much help. Very help. Sarah, dominate me, please. Mm -hmm. So here's a question: If your YouTube account took off to the uh, to the point where you were making enough money, yes, would you? be YouTube, a full-time YouTuber. Yes. It looks like so much fun. Like dedicating that amount of time, dedicating that amount of money to getting really good lights, getting a really good setup. You know, James Charles just released like a um, YouTube tour of his house and he has his own oh, cool. studio with like a grid of bars where he hangs his lights from. And I'm just like, oh my God, what money would do? I would say that the, the thing about YouTube that no one realizes is just how much work goes into making a video oh, and yeah. whether or not it's the editing, whether or not it's the investment in the actual equipment that goes into doing it, the concepts, the planning, the marketing, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. The other social media accounts. I really admire your Instagram feed though, because your outfits you post are just so iconic, Sarah. Oh, thank you. I'm, I mean, I get, I'm working really hard on it. Um, but I'm, I'm up really late hours at night and I wonder, is this like night owl schedule <laughs> pretty typical for content creators? I don't know. So my general idea in this look is I have two areas of, um, of focus, the inner corner and then the outer corner on the bottom. So there's really not that much to do on the eye itself other than the wing liner, which we're gonna do in a second. Oh boy. But first I'm gonna do the pink that's underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the pink shades. It actually looks really, really good. And it's funny because I've never done this like crazy 
pink everywhere look on anyone else before and it's really cute. Oh, I know. I'm so excited to see it. I was telling Harris about it, my husband, the other day about how makeup is one of those things that depending on the products you have is a really, <laughs> it's really tells you what you can do with it. Oh, I know. Like, yeah. Having, as a kid, having just a couple of products, I always wondered, how do people do all of those looks? And I know, yeah, you get super creative with what you have. Okay, I'm gonna do um, your winged liner, and I think we're not gonna talk for this I part. think that's always the mood when I'm doing liner. So I go out to the corner first, and then I pull in. I don't know how you- Oh, like you it. mean you do the line that is the wing first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my technique differs literally every single time I do it. <laughs> that did not work. I'm gonna try again. The, also, the thing with black eyeshadow is once you put it on, it's like, oh, blending this, aha! Because it's so dark, and if any of it's not blended, you can't tell. Whereas if you put something that's closer to your skin tone, you can just slap it on. Same goes for lipstick. If you have like a lipstick that's close to your skin tone, you can kind of be more not precise about where you put it versus if you're wearing black lipstick or red lipstick. You know what I mean? Stila, I used, this used to be, oh my God. <gasps> Why is this so tiny? It's Micro tip, do, that's so small. That's what she said. <laughs> Now that we've done some eyeliner, I'm gonna go back in with a shimmer shade on top just to blend everything together. You're going with a shimmer on top of the eyeliner? No, 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 not on top of the actual eyeliner. Oh. Over, oh although some people do that. I've definitely seen it. I, that is so opposite anything I would do. So I think that's what I'm enjoying so much about today is like <laughs> seeing how you do it and I'm, I'm like, ah, not something I do. Yeah, so I definitely, I'm gonna shimmer the crap out of this into the blush and then I'm gonna blend it all together again. So it's a lot of blending. And a lot of blush. You put so much blush on my face, which I'm all yeah, about. I did. <laughs> and now I'm going back in for more. So I like to blend in a bright pink into a more reddish tone pink so that it looks more like a skin color. So it's bright under the eyes oh. and then red. Oh, that's actually a theory that they use when applying blush as well. They apply like a very more intense color on the apples of the cheeks and mm. then they use a lighter blush or one that is closer to the skin tone um, depth, the, the depth of the skin to blend it out into the skin. Mm. It looks really good when people do that like that way. Anyway. Before I put on highlighter, I'm gonna go in with some uh, freckles. <laughs> Something I also never do, so looking forward to that again. Oh, actually, I want to do pink underneath your nose first. What do you use for your freckles? Um, mm. I use a regular eyeliner pencil. Ah. Uh, Nothing crazy. Yeah. So hold your breath for a second. Because we're going to put on a little rabbit nose, basically. Okay. So now that your nose is pink, and now that I've turned into a rabbit, mm -hmm. see part two where I start to roam in the wild and into the forest where I belong. So what's your favorite animal? I think elephants are majestic. I really do. I think elephants are smart and they feel and they're beautiful and massive. And I, I don't know, I would love to meet one and just be dumbfounded in its presence, you know? You've never met an elephant? No. Maybe when I was a kid at a zoo or something, yeah. but um, no. I think they're so cute. The baby ones are so cute. Yeah, baby elephants are How really cute. How about you? Cute. What's your fave? I've been really into birds recently too. <gasps> oh. Like I really like things that can fly. So um, I've been watching a lot of parrots. Oh my God, parrots are great. I feel like birds are very vocal as well. Mm -hmm. Like I have a couple friends who have birds as pets and they're always squawking. And I'm like, I could not live this life. I'm glad you can, but I cannot. I mean, I know you don't love to rub things into your foundation, but I like to basically blot to make it look like they're underneath your skin. Oh, no, that's smart, yeah. Now we're gonna do highlighter and then we'll go in for the lips and we'll be done. Yay, I'm excited. So with magic, we're definitely going to layer on a bunch of shiny stuff Yay. and not even worry about it. I, You've done a lot of acting. Oh, yeah, I used to very much so. So what f was your favorite acting project that you did? 
Well, you know, some of the ones that have been the most rewarding have been the smallest that I've done. Like the smallest projects in terms of cast was Tiny uh, Crew. Like the last one that I remember loving so much was like a film that I shot at my apartment with my friend and literally one person who was doing lighting for it. Mm. And it turned out so good. I have it up on my YouTube channel. What's um, it called? It's called Open Up. So we have the full uh, video up on my YouTube. So if you want to go check it out, you can. Nice. It was super fun. It was like horror-esque element. Loved it a lot. Now we're going to not talk while I fill in your Cupid's bow first. Oh, perfect. And this shade is like a reddish pink. It's pretty good. Well, I'll let you do your mascara first. Oh. That way I can take a break. Thank you, mommy. Oh my God. What? You look you look very weird in your opinion. Okay, so what- That's not what I said. What, I said, oh my God, and that was it. So what happens um, to me when I do my makeup is it looks ridiculous oh. until I put on the hair and the makeup and then it's like, okay, all right. The lips look sense. good. <laughs> Just the lips though. <laughs> no, I, you were being like, oh, they don't have to be perfect. They're nice though. <laughs> yeah, only the lips look good. Wow, this is wild. Where am I going after this? Who where would you where would you go wearing this would you go well, no, no i mean would you we were talking about like being stared at and like in, like would you go out in this and you would be comfortable and you would be fine and i don't know okay because some i was saying that like when i go out to the store if i have a dramatic eye look on i i need to be prepared to be stared at and i guess i would more like this is more like my character like what i would wear to perform or oh, to okay. video or to take a picture. Also because I just totally don't feel like myself right now, maybe yeah. that's why I would be more aware of being stared at if I were out in makeup as dramatic mm -hmm. as this. Your brows have such a pretty shape. I love how square they are. <laughs> it's the same thing with brows that it is with eyeliner. I find I am so used to doing my brows. I'm gonna try and not be expressive right now. I am so used to doing my brows in the shape that I know that I've done them on me. So whenever I'm doing anyone else's makeup, I wind up finding that my brow shape has somehow appeared on their face. And I'm like, huh, you would think that I do this brow shape a lot. Same thing with eyeliner. Like you were saying that you're so used to doing a certain shape for your eye shape, you mm -hmm. know? I'm just gonna do a really light brow in comparison to what you normally do a hefty brow because we're we're gonna make you real soft today. Oh, God. <laughs> We're wispy fairies today, and sure. what's really important is that you um, you stuck your face in a flower. I did. And what came out was a bunch of pollen, <laughs> which is that pink and the green. Right. And your brows didn't really... Uh... They didn't survive. No, they're... They were painted on, and now they're not. And this is the, the light wash of color left over. It's real pretty. It's gonna be real soft today. Oh, soft and Aria, a sentence I never thought would come out. And there you go. So okay. we have our light brow on. We have our light brow. Light and brow. I definitely messed up your bangs, so you'll have to redo them. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but They're messed up all the time. We're gonna do a glossy lip, and then we're gonna do outfits. Yay, I can't wait. Wow, this smells really good. Why does it smell like food? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Anyway, how are you feeling? Ooh, my bangs are really... Ooh, hello, yeah, Nancy. <laughs> um, are okay, we, are um, we done? Yeah, I guess I got to do your hair. Oh, yes! So you you like to wear a lot of chains and leather and Doc Martens and things like that. I do. What would you say is the most iconic Aria accessory if you had to pick like one item you couldn't live without? An accessory. Yeah. Um, I love hoop earrings. I love hoop earrings. I, I, they're, they're grungy, you know, and they just, I, I don't know. They just add something to the face. They, they draw the attention here. And I, I, I don't know. I, I, that's really my answer. I, I don't know what else I would say. Cue the style swap. <sighs> <sighs> We made it! We did! We it did was it. that fast, you see? So Aria today is wearing one of my very favorite Hell Bunny dresses. It is covered in different forest creatures. We've got squirrels, foxes, birds, elk, deer, all, all <laughs> Elk, kinds. specifically. Elk. Well, I don't know, they've got, they've got the horns. I would say it has a really good mix of being both sweet and sexy in this outfit where you're 
It's a very high neck and you have the collar option, which makes it very sweet, mm. but it's also very tight. And the way that the seaming, especially like the bust looks, mm. the empire seam that it has is just really flattering to the body. And you have three more details. So in, for accessories, you have knee high socks. What bam! And then you have two accessories. You have a fairy bottle necklace that was purchased at the Pennsylvania Ren Fair. And then you have moon shaped earrings, which my mother's cousin gave to us. Oh, I didn't know I was wearing like a family antique heirloom. That's yeah. so cute. I, I feel like not, I feel out of my element, but I feel like I've been placed in a new one, aka yours. And it's, it's very soft and hard. Like, yeah. At the same time though, yeah. I'm very into it. Let's yeah. go take some pictures. Yes, literally yes. right now. Okay, let's go. Come on. Bye everyone. Oh my God. We did it! We turned Aria into me and me into Aria. If you want to go see how Aria did this amazing look on me, you can oh. go check out her YouTube channel at Untitled Aria Project. And also check out for our looks on Instagram for the pictures that we did of these looks. So see you soon. Bye everyone! <laughs>